Hi friends, it's Deanna Willison with our Blooming Catholic Life and I'm here today with my annual What Am I Doing for a Planner update. Remember this channel all got started after I finished my second master's pretty much in a row and needed to figure out how to live normal life and the best way I thought to do that was to get into planning. Oh man, did I hit the ground hard. I was so enthused. I got all the things. Does it look like it did in the beginning for me? No. Do I still use it every day? Ah, uh, it comes and goes. There are days when I use it literally every day and then there's times where I look at it once a week and I'm good. But the Happy Planner is still my go-to planner. Um, I still love the format. I love everything about it. And as we get close to the new year, I go to Michael's Craft Store and I'm looking for the Faith planner. That's the kind I seem to like. Um, the characteristics I look for, it's a 12 month planner. It is the faith planner edition. Of course you have to check the dates, but also on the back, go ahead and look. It is the, does it say here? It usually has a word here. Sorry. I'm looking for, I think this is the vertical planner cause it's in vertical columns. It's a horizontal planner. Oh man, now I'm not gonna remember the word. I really thought the word was on there. It doesn't have it on there. Anyway, I look for this setup of planner where a day is a column and not a row going this way. There are some that are rows going this way. There are also some that are like just a weekly planner where it's all the days on one, like one side could be blank and the other side is the days for the whole week. This I like, it's one week, but each day is separate and it has little checklists. I need to get back into the checklist part. Okay, what is it? It is a 12 month dated planner with monthly and weekly calendar pages, dividers, weekly faith reflection seats, sheets. Huh, I wonder if that's probably this. Um, space for creative planning and scheduling. So let's get in here. I did really like this time that it had the lovely pink I love these pink dividers that normally comes on the faith planner um, and I do have the chunky monkey the expansion ones as well if I put this in my cover this year it's going to get the bigger discs so these are switchable you can see how I'm pulling this plastic sheet right off of here this is actually the cover for it so I'm trying to ah and now it slips off but it's kind of neat because I could use this actually in the planner is almost a bookmark and you could probably write on it with dry erase markers or put some stickers on it. So I may put this inside the book. Then I can come over here, wrestle this off. Here's the thing. So when I was leaving the house all the time, I got a really nice um, cover. It's about this pink color and I really like it and it keeps it safe, but I'm not going out of the house much since the pandemic. Don't know about you. So that's why I'm not using the cover. Now the downside is the cover also had a snap close so I could have all kinds of papers inside and not worry about them falling out. But since um, the one I used last year, I never put it in the cover. So papers tend to fall out, except I don't normally move it. It normally does stay where I sit at the dining table at the end. We haven't been using the dining room table for eating because it became my uh, my video office. So I have two offices. One is a desk <laughs> with the laptop on it that is very scrunched into a corner of the bedroom. And so I go ahead and I use that um, for all of my publishing needs. Yeah, I use that for um, working on my fraternity newsletter, or the Franciscan Wake Service program, or the First Saturdays program. That's where I sit up there to do word um, programs, you know, uh, word processing of any kind. I sit up there. If I'm editing videos, hardcore editing, which I don't always do on my own videos, um, but I absolutely do on the uh, John Briber Memorial Society videos, I do a lot more editing for them. And also I'll go up, that's the only place where I can mark things like if a publisher gives me a book, like our St. Raphael book. I had to say that that was a promotional item and I can only do that on the YouTube that I get on, that I get on from my laptop, not from my phone or my iPad. So sometimes I jump on there for that. So that is my upstairs little desk, which is really a 1920s makeup stand that is in the corner of my bedroom. 
the dining room table has become my go-to spot. I know you've noticed for videos. Um, and there's times when that's good, times when that's awkward. But so my calendar sits there on the table in front of me and doesn't get moved a lot. If it does, I pick it up, but I have to be super careful about um, keeping all the papers involved. Now I did have at one point, there was a very shiny rubber band looking thing that went, that Happy Planner sold that would hold it together. I need to look for that too and get it. But anyway, here I am setting it up. Take this guy off. This, I'm probably not gonna use this. If you saw, there was that little bit of glue still here that was on this cover that was driving me nuts and I was trying to rub off, I couldn't get off. I used um, some lemon essential oil that tends to get thicky, sticky things off. There's still a little bit because I need to put it on a paper towel and then that'll come right off. Um, you can see, I really love the theme this year for the Faith Planner is the beach, which really speaks to me if you read about, you know, my cousin Cation, where we went to the Outer Banks of North Carolina at the beach. And I loved the night that we had the pink sky and the ocean turned pink. And this really reminded me of that. And I thought it was kind of awesome that that was the planner this year. So now I'm gonna try and take this one off. Again, I'm gonna come back with that lemon essential oil and get this sticky off. But this just pulls off. Remember that's the great system of happy planners. You can put things back on and off using this. I do have a hole punch that will put these funny little D sort of shaped holes in them. Half circle with a line. I have a thing that will do that. Um, look at this beach. So it says rest to your soul. I kind of love it. And when we get inside, it is. It's that nice peachy sky. Lovely. But then, then you can see there's there's a little sleeve here I have to wiggle off. Another one. That's <laughs> why you can't peek at these in the store and why I like doing the video reviews. Ignore my microphone. It's going to pop into the picture probably every now and then. Um, so welcome to your happy planner. It tells you it's the faith layout. It's designed to add uplifting relief to your task tracking, appointment keeping, and prayer listing. Looking for divine inspiration? The Happy Planner stickers are a heavenly way to add a special touch to your process. Find what fits your faith and be thoroughly you in your creative journey. Need more options to fill your idea pad? Look for us on Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. And I do have a lot of their stickers. Um, this is find what you need for your faith journey. Well, what I'm not going to find is Catholic stickers. No Mama Mary and St. Francis. Thank goodness um, Women of Grace now has some stickers that I've gotten that I can add. And they're great because I can put them on this is laminated cover. Or if I don't want to try and reuse them at all, I can put them right on the paper. As well as I think Sock Religious has a series of stickers as well. And they sell them at the shrine near me. So I can do this up. I can add some stickers. Maybe I don't want them on the cover. Maybe I want them in here. Wherever I want them, I can put them. I do love that. There is a spot for your name just in case you leave your house occasionally. Or there's multiple people in your house using this edition. It is kind of funny. Why does it say hello in the beginning? Prayer, study, worship, fellowship, discipleship, and relationship. I don't need a faith planner that's saying hello to me first thing. I liked this before um, because I can mark some special days for 2023 that I'm looking ahead or 2024. Must remember, it says set your goals. I've never used that for goals. Oh, I've kind of used it. Huh. Maybe I have. Now I need to go back and look. We can go get last year's because here is all the months written out. And I know I used this last year and wrote stuff on. Let me go back and see here. Do I have things written there? Did last year's have that? Now this is all filled out. So there's, you know, some things I'm probably not wanting to show everyone. So don't judge me here. I'm flipping through. Last time it was Grace growing. His grace was the theme. No. So last year, this page looked a little different. The numbers here are super small and they're not bold. Here, they're a tiny bit bigger and they were in bold. And look, they didn't have the columns on the edges. And look, that page popped right out. So I'm going to have to pop it back in. Although 21's gone. There's not, nothing written on there, so I can just take that out. <laughs> Done. Okay, so this is new. I can put in some goals for the year right there. And if I have some long-term goals for 2024, I can put it right there. That's kind of neat. I like that. I liked this. This was the year in a, a glance, so I can do this super early. Just copy it over from last year's. And do you remember, friends, I think I wrote the name of the month also in Spanish and Korean last year. I may continue to do that. 
Um, interesting. So here's January. Is this similar to last year's? Let's give a little look see here. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, a little lightheaded there. Um No, I don't think this page was there last year. You jump straight into the calendar page for it. It didn't have this. Very interesting. So this is something new. Nice. So you can write any prayers or thoughts, intentions, blessings. So if you're doing a, like a gratitude journal, you can write them here. You can have recognizing God's hand in. I'm not sure. How's that different from blessings? You have to think about that. Important dates, you just copy them over from these charts over here. And it is nice because you can pop these out, copy them down, and put it back. It's not so bad in January, but other months you're going to want to maybe pop those out to do that. Um, a little difference here. I'm, I'm not sure. It's not my favorite. It's just a picture of people I don't know. But you know what? I could take the opportunity to take a picture of some of my friends and put that in there. That's kind of interesting. That's a fun thought. I hadn't thought of that. Turn it into like a little scrapbook. Um, This is very similar to last year here. Yeah, I'm looking at last year's. Super similar. Um, And there's an opportunity here to use your stickers so that you can, even on National Sticker Day, so that you really do know at a glance this is January. Um, Go ahead and put some winter stickers and things in there. Then this says December, January because January 1st is at the end of the week. According to this, Sunday is the end of the week. Well, that, that's awkward because here it has Sunday as the first day of the week, but here it's the last day of the week. That's interesting. That's interesting. So this was the skip scripture reading plan that I did before. I really haven't done that this year. I'm doing the Bible in a year, so I'm reading... A selection from that Dr. Taylor Marshall points out to me every night, an Old Testament, a wisdom, and a New Testament reading. So I really haven't been doing this. I've been writing, I know, gasp directly in um, my Douay Reams Bible um, because I'm hoping to take his scripture course next year. And then I already have questions right in the Bible for when I get to them. Um, that section in actually studying the Bible. That's why I wrote those notes directly in there. I know it's a little hinky, but I know that Bible isn't the sturdiest. And so I'm okay with using it as a study Bible for now. I'd like to get the Dewey Rhymes um, in a leather or hardcover that's gonna hold up a little bit better and that I probably won't write in. But so I'm using this one as a study Bible. I do have a book review on that if you wanna see it. Um, I probably need to do an updated one just to let you know how that's going. But I have at least one review out there on it. So here is what I like doing. Um, you can do this for Lexio Divina. These can be the phrases that jump out at you at your first reading. A little bit deeper notes on your second or third reading. And then any ways that you're going to apply this to your life, write them here. You can then come out here and write out some goals based on this. Okay. Ways that you see the Lord working in your life. And hey, maybe I can do better. I'm going to write it over here. So that's an interesting way to go, especially as you go through the week. So this is going to take you through the month. And you can use this instead for appointments, um, you know, anything you need to, to write out for your day, however your day looks. I like using it for scripture. And since I'm doing scripture at night, I'm not taking my calendar up at night. I'd never remember to bring it down, blah, blah, blah. That's why I'm not using it this year. At least that's my excuse. This new page is here again. I think this page was here back in 2021 and I did really like it. So I'm super psyched to see it come back. And again, I like that this is a little square. I have the Bible reading. I can't really read this. Oh, you can't even see it. It's super fancy and it's hard to read over the image, but I know it's saying Colossians 3.16 and maybe I'll go look for a picture that really speaks to that for me. I wonder if my camera hasn't Kind of drifted down as we filmed. Do you like this little zooming out? Yeah, it wants to come. It is trying to come back. Ah! I had a loose wing nut there. Sorry about that, friends. Nope. It's going straight down again. This is clamped onto the table. And so maybe it needs adjusted by someone stronger than me. 
trying to go back down. Well, I'm going to try and hold this one with my left hand then. Um, so it's a similar format throughout. Let's jump to the back, see is there anything new. Let's just September, October. Anything new in the back? Here is December. And no, there's nothing new in the back, so I'll just show you the back cover. I have the, the holiday pack that I carry out from year to year. I rip out of the book and I bring over. Can probably show you that. There's probably a new holiday pack as well. <laughs> I could buy a new one, but where's the fun in that? Oh my goodness, isn't it in here? No, I'm confused. It must still be in my old, old one because maybe I didn't transfer it over. Maybe I've been grabbing it out of the other one where it has a spot for Christmas lists and Christmas cards. And I make my holiday shopping list that I take with me on Black Friday. And I think it's still in the one with the cover. I could get to it. Um, it's on the other side of the table and I don't want to leave you. <laughs> but anyway, I can just pop that in the back because again, these pages just come out and in so you can buy extra packs remember there's a little list you can pop in your weekly shopping list whatever you have to oh my goodness friends this page has a watermark of the beach did others have that that's really neat uh, i may use that for something special but it's the back side of the last page for december <laughs> ah and here it was kind of like the december page was back to the cover page nice so some of these Oh, but I would really like, I really like this idea of putting this as a photo collage to inspire me. And if you don't have photos that you want to use of your friends, you can go ahead and use your stickers or decorate this however you want. You can even just put a new piece of paper, whatever works for you. Really like this. I'm psyched. It has features from past journals like this that I really like, as well as keeping the new things that I liked in last year's, which was mainly this big chart in the front. This is one of the things I like that's new, although this is really tiny. I think I'm okay with that it's days of the week. But I really liked this in last year's edition. So they have all the things I like from previous ones all combined into one. And I really do like this cover. Sometimes I'm not super jazzed about the covers. And I'm good with getting <laughs> the big leather, leather like cover that you snap on over top because I'm like, oh, that's kind of not my jam. This one is really nice and it's really speaking to me. I wouldn't have probably said that before the cousin vacation because I'm a mountains person, but this beach scene is going to remind me of that vacation and the great time that we had with cousins. So God bless you, friends. There's a little sneak peek inside here. They keep them pretty buttoned down in the store with all these little plastic sleeves and you can't look at them. So I want to show you that this has the best of the last two editions. I'm very excited to get started planning for next year and get this set up. You know, when you really like the cover and all, it really does excite you more to set it up. So kudos to them. I, yeah, now that I've gotten in it and see the new features that they brought back that one I really liked, yeah, I am definitely psyched to get this in here. May God bless you and keep you friends. May he make his light to shine upon you and be gracious to you. And may the Lord bring you his peace. And may the Lord bless you in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen.